I'm recording this on Saturday, and we just found out that Mikael Bridges is going to wear the number one, and that Cam Johnson is wearing the number two, so I got to do what I got to do. One thing that I need to make sure is very apparent to y'all is that now that we start this series, whatever happens in real life is completely irrelevant. This is still the NBA, but it's, it's Kenny 2's NBA. You know what I'm saying? So, like, anything that happens in real life is no, no longer relevant. This is just, from this point on, our universe. Um, and I'm excited for this first game, man. And I did read the comment section of episode one. I just dropped episode one like six hours ago. So it ain't been a ton of comments just yet. But it is a one to ten, which means that it's my best performing video. So I appreciate y'all. And one of the top comments was like, Kenny, you can change how your guy looks. You just got to go to custom customizable. And then you can change his hair and all of that. But even then, no matter what face I use, he's going to look young and stuff. And it's not extremely relevant. Because uh, it's not like you see the GM all the time, but this is just if we win executive of the year or something. Either way, Kenny Beecham got it, got the hair. I gave him a little beard because in this world, I'm 40 instead of 26, and, and growing a beard is not a problem. Definitely a problem in real life, though. Ha! First game we're going to play is against the Philadelphia 76ers. So the rules that we're, we're having, um, at least for the early parts that we're going to tinker with as we get to the playoffs and stuff like that, is eight-minute uh, eight quarters with Sim statistics and stuff like that if you know you know i don't even know how to explain it but it adjusts the things that you did in game to make it look like you played 12 quarters they signed miles bridges as well do they have no shame um the 76ers are a really good basketball team though as of right now they're sitting at the three seed uh four games away from being the one seed at 35 and 19 hall of fame difficulty first time playing with these guys the one thing i gotta do first is change my shot meter because i i don't like the one i had i think we're good to go ladies and gentlemen first game Hall of Fame difficulty at the Barclays Center. The game that I think is being played t today. Carol Bridge is pulling up first game in the new arena, man. The Barclays is going to be bumping. At least I hope so. I can't really confirm or deny that it will be. But look at us. Oh, we 11 games over 500. People are going to forget about that. We got a nice little cushion uh, for the rest of the season. Also, for you people that's new around here, what's up? Uh, I'm not crazy on the sticks. So don't expect to see some crazy good gameplay. I'm not about to blow people out by 50, especially with a team uh, that might struggle to score. And, and I don't really know the jump shot. I'm just giving myself excuses right now. Let me let me chill. One thing I'm real big on, though, is, is running plays. Because I think that's the best way to try to get as many people as involved as possible. Team communication is going to be um, um, on. And then freelance dynamic. And let's get, let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. It's that time. It's that time. Okay. All right, there we go. There's our, there's our first ran play. Let's give it up to, to Mikhail. Get cut through. It would have been better if I looked at my my playbook to understand what plays is what. Like this this play is over, and now we giving it to Ben Simmons, who gonna do with the Ben Simmons thing, and, and let's turn the ball let's turn the ball over. All right, let, let me let me let me warm up a little bit. Let me warm up a little bit. Bias Harris with a turnaround jump shot, and that's money over Mikael Bridges. I right, I see you, Toby. I see you. So like I said, they did go out and sign Mikael um, Miles Bridges and stuff. So that is a little bit interesting. Cam catch. Shoot. See, this is what I talk about Cam's jump shot. He's got one of the longest jump shots in the game. That should be three points on the board for us. But instead, we back on defense. At least I thought we was. We got... We might have to switch that. I, I don't know if Spencer Dinwiddie going to be able to keep up. But he's on the break. One man to beat. Ben Simmons on Joel and B for the first bucket of the game. Ben Simmons one for one and plus the turnover. And I'm counting that as a dunk on Ben Simmons. On, on, on Joel and B. I don't care what nobody say. And we always going to play on ball. Because that's what I grew up doing. All of y'all that be playing off ball, even against CPU, you're crazy. This is what we're here for, being with the, with the defense. Run, run. Why, why is Nicholas Claxton not running? Keep running, Nicholas. You got the small defender. Drop step that man. Drop step that man, Clax. He missed it. He missed it. That's a good look, though, Nicholas. I can't even be mad at you. Ben Simmons not caring about none of that. Maxi versus Thomas is a good matchup for us. They want to switch that. I don't like this. I do not like this. He's going to put him in the... Oh, he settled. He settled for the jumper. No good. Ben Simmons with the board. You know Ben Simmons can run it. He can run it. He can run the O. See, listen. This is a, a recovery period for Ben. This is where he gets his resurgence, man. It's where he gets his resurgence. There's a screen. Clax. Never mind. Never mind. Set the screen for Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie high. Get to the basket. Change up the jumper. No good. No good. Your last game, Dinwiddie was giving the Bulls the work. Toby for three. Bang. Toby's nice like that. He's, he's got five. Out of they, out of they seven. Um, the the transition defense is a lot to be desired right now. The, the boys is definitely not running the way they should. Okay, Cam off a double. Joel with the help. Cam with the floater. Cam, with, see, I got a little bit of stuff about the sticks. They go Cam with his first two of the game. All right, the dimer lit up 
before I got Spencer Dinwiddie two assists already on both of the baskets. Look at the flare. Look at the flare. Look at the flare. First two. <gasps> no, they're selling. That was a green release. That should have been the first two of Mikael Bridges' career in Brooklyn right there. Or three. He was open. At least I think. And then I got a full bar. They must have got a contest because you know that changes up the release a little bit. Claxton gets get put in the basket by Joel B. They ran a little play or whatever. So we do have some substitutions. We're running Mikael at the two right now, which is his backup position, so you can't be too mad at it. Cam Johnson gets his first look, a part of the team. Ben Simmons, head of steam, he gets fouled. Something he don't want to do in real life. And listen, we're going to try our best to make Ben Simmons as aggressive as possible because when he becomes aggressive, when he become aggressive, uh, things look good. But I forgot that that free throw was going to look bad, and it was 0 for 2. All right. Okay. Shake Milton, no good. Ben Simmons with the board. Ben Simmons is doing the other stuff. You know, don't expect him to score. <laughs> don't expect him to score well, much. But he's doing the other stuff. I just realized we still only have two points. It's 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 go, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Mikhail, get the ball. And that's his first two. Mikhail's first two. It, 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 it what the prettiest basket. I ain't gonna lie to you, but it got past the minivan, George and Yang, and go ahead and duck on him. All right, we got six. They got 12. We still in this. We still in this, baby. If they not gonna run, they gonna take Embiid and Harden off the court. This is the time for us to go on a little run. We're deeper than they are. They got the top end talent, but I feel like we're deeper than they are. You know, no matter what five we have on the court, we feel like we got a chance. Good defense from Mr. Johnson. And just like that, Spencer Dinwiddie, we be running. We running, Spence. Claxton, keep cutting. He gets fouled as well. Now, the thing is about this team is that we don't really have a backup point guard. So what I did, dang, I forgot these dudes. Free throws is crazy. What I did, though, was make Simmons' backup position back to a center. I think that it was that like that originally, but I changed it. And then Seth Curry and Cam Thomas back up position on point guards um, so that, you know, Spencer Dibbity don't have to play the whole game. You ain't got to show that. You ain't got to show that he got one less point than our whole team. That ain't that ain't really important, is it? They go under on the screen. The lob. Clax. Boom. Throw it down. Then Clax. You know what I'm saying? Spencer Dinwiddie, Nicholas Claxton. Spencer Dinwiddie already got four assists, man. I feel like no matter who my point guard is, they're going to do pretty good as far as passing the ball goes because I'm always going to use my point guard as like a floor general, even if he, let's say if we had Dane. Dane might not even average 30 points for me because I'm going to use him to set my other people up instead of look for his own basket. And that's what we're doing right now with Dinwiddie. Good defense again by Cam. Two great defensive possessions on Toby so far this game, and he just got checked in. Cam, knock down, Cam. See, that's a full bar, 2K. They don't like the fact that uh, the man might have got a contest, but we go, no, let's not act like Cam Johnson can't hit a somewhat contested three-point shot. He wanted the better three-point shooters in the league, baby. Uh, look, contest ain't going to change it if you got a good release. They got Montrez in the paint. I'm going to try to help on that. I'm gonna, there, there's the drop step. Cam with the little help. They get it back up to Shake. Shake going to have to make us pay, and he doesn't. Claxton with his fourth rebound of the game. One thing about this 76 team, they get back on defense. Never mind. Dinwiddie to the basket and one. One-point game. One point game, George Yang get blown by by Mikael Bridges and then give up an A1 to Spencer Dinwiddie. Now, right now, we're the worst free throw shooting team in the league. There's a free throw, babe. There we go. So we got Yuta, the shooter, at five, and then Dorfini Smith and gets his first little run. Um, it's not the it's not the most pretty thing. I say that. We're running definitely small out here. No rim protection right off. You see it right off the rip. 20 seconds left in the quarter, though. Um, Spencer Dinwiddie played the entire first quarter. I don't know how I feel about that. We definitely need to get him a little rest, even though he's basically been the most impactful player in the game so far. I mean, at least in the Brooklyn Nets jersey. They got some people. James Harden's back on the court. Seth Curry. Oh, I thought Seth Curry was going to come off that screen looking to score. Instead, Dinwiddie, downhill. No good. We're going to, to the first quarter, end of the first quarter, down by three points. Not too bad from the guys, 13 to 16. But remember, we only play eight-minute quarters. So in reality, this first quarter is probably 25 to 23 or something like that once you get the sim stat. So um, for our first game playing with the squad, it wasn't too bad. I think there are some things we can work on for sure. And part of that is making sure we get open looks because I, I feel like we didn't get to shoot any open jump shots. All of our baskets came like at the rim, get into the basket. Um, and now... We got Yuta at the five with Joel Embiid on the court, which is not ideal. We might have to make sure that Dayron Sharp always gets some minutes. You, you want to isolation Seth Curry? Jock Vaughn, let's not do this. Let's let's swing it around the horn a little bit. Let's get some dribble penetration, then to a Seth Curry three. See, that's a shot we can make. I, didn't, I never shot a jump shot with him. I ain't know it's going to be a little bit longer, but that's a shot we can make undoubtedly. So that's a good thing. But having a guy like Dayron Sharp to soak up some center minutes is going to be crucial. Because look at this. This is this is what we're going to be going through um, when we go against the elite level centers. Good foul from Dorian. Um, but unfortunately, Joel Embiid is one of the best free throw shooting centers in the league. 
um, and he gonna make probably both of these. So right now we don't even we don't have Dayron in the actual rotation. Um, I thought we could get away with having Ben place a backup five, and I didn't know that Yuta's backup position was five too. So you know we got a lot of things to work. We got so many threes and fours, and not enough fives and ones. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the things we got to work on this offseason. A screen from Dorian. He flares. Dorian for three. That's a green B. Green release. DFS. See, he feel like a dude that should be starting, bro. He's too good to come off the bench, but that, we just have so many bodies at that position. Good defense, Utah. I wonder what they're going to run in real life. Um, and I guess y'all going to know by the time this video is out what they actual lineup look like. But as of right now, I have no idea who's going to start. Um, so I guess only time will tell. Dorian again. Oh, I thought he hit a second one again. That's a nice release. Just maybe not the most open shot. I should probably put on shot feedback for sure. And we get that steal? No, we don't. Come on, Royce. You're supposed to be that a hustle. And play defense. James Harden blow past you, but I, I thought you got the contest, but I guess not. Let me put on shot feedback. I think it's extremely important to know what type of releases I'm getting and if it is a contest. So I know if 2K is selling us or if I'm selling myself. Dorian, same. this same play gets so many open looks. I like it. I might mess with our um, our playbook throughout the course of the season to have plays that fit what we want to do. Because right now, it's it's asking for a lot of isolation, and it's like give Seth Curry the ball now and let him take a heavily contested step back and get back on defense. Get back on defense because that's what the play called for. Good defense, Dorian. We just got so many 3 and D wings, but if we ain't got nobody that can set up the three, then that's a, that's a bucket. No, it's not. Late release for him. Come on. Seth Curry with the board. Somebody's going to be open. Somebody's going to be open. It's going to be you, Seth. It's going to be you. Is he serious? Is he serious? I know he got to look at Seth, but you still an NBA player. You still Seth Curry and our transition defense. Not great. Dorothy Smith with a contest. And now we keep back moving. We run it. Look, yeah, we got to change the playbook. This is isolation. These are plays you call for Kyrie Irving when he was here. It's not, it's not what you call for Seth Curry. He's a catch and shoot fella. I'm going to try something I've done in my team before. Set the screen. No, that's the wrong icon. I saw Joe Harris. Oh, green DFS. Big Doe with the three. They didn't even get a contest. All right, great. Um, I saw they helped off for Joe Harris on that play, and I was trying to get it to him, but for some reason, I hit the wrong icon. Joe is in at the two right now, so we got to keep that in mind. The, yeah, there. This is this is where they could kill us. I'm calling for a double every time he touched the ball if Nicholas Claxton not in the game. and Let the other people beat us. See, that's the shot we can live with. He can make it for sure, but we'll live with it. And we're doing a good job team rebounding without a center on the court. I'm, I'm not hating this lineup so far. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not hating this lineup. We, we're going to be able to get a lot of open looks from three. They're not really contesting our, our shots. So as long as we keep shooting, we're going to be in a good spot. Because eventually, I'll just learn people jump shot, and it's going to be wraps for the, for the league. It's going to be wraps for the league. See, look, another isolation Seth Curry. I, t I take him. That's a bad shot. That's a bad. Let me chill. Let me chill. But, yeah, we got to change the playbook undoubtedly because this is still a playbook that you run if you got uh, Kyrie Irving or if you got Kevin. And we need a more team-centric um, playbook. We also need a double to come. Please, please. That's a bucket. Yeah, they know what you can do about that. All right, that was too long of a period without Claxton. But you know what? We we started with this lineup down by three. They come out down by three, so they didn't hurt us. They just let our dudes get a little bit of a uh, little bit of a rest, and boom, they back on the court. Um, I do need to mess with the actual minutes so Ben doesn't play with Claxton as much because we have enough talent where Ben can run the five, and we ain't got to worry about non shooting Ben Simmons. Uh huh. I see that. I see that. Ben with the offensive board. Cam. Oh, never mind. Never mind, I forget. Cam's jump shot is... Oh, he got ripped up! D'Anthony! And he like fifth in the league in steals or something? So, I mean, I guess it's realistic, but man, you don't want to, you don't want to see that and Ben just let him get past. What a play from D'Anthony, man. By next game, we shouldn't see a ton of minutes of Claxton and Ben together because we're going to use Ben as a back of five. We just got to get the minutes done. I, I definitely thought um, at the end of the last episode I was going to get it done, but I forgot to. Claxton, we'll we keep throwing you that lob, Claxton, on God. Especially if Montrez Harrell's in the game. We we don't trust him to get back. And technically, Claxton, you the best player on the team. Ben, head down. I, I, I need to stop. I need to stop. I see why he don't be driving in real life because it gets you to this position. And you might hit a free throw every once in a while. Big Ben. You know, a little, a little revenge on your new team versus your old team. Oh, Nick, Nicholas Claxton with a great rebound. Okay. This is a mismatch. I agree. I agree. Cam on a post-up touch? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Th things ain't perfect. But you know what it is? That jump shot from Mikael Bridges. It's just so silky smooth, bro. I can't even lie to you. The jump shot from Mikael Bridges is so nice in this game. If we just get a lot of catch-and-shoot opportunities from Klax, 
um, then I mean not from Clax, from Bridges, then we're in a good spot. He might average 40 for us. We just need to keep give him in a position. And I might and one. I might make a custom play playbook that's just like get get him the ball, get him the ball. Cause right now, every time we've shot it with him, it's look good. Three seconds on the clock. That's a heavily contested, baby. That's a heavily contested. The defense is getting better. The defense is getting better. And Cam, killer Cam, he's moving. He's moving. And the, the catch was not it was not clean at all. I thought for sure he was about to get an open look. But I ain't gonna lie, Montrez Harrell recovered way better than I anticipated a guy like Montrez Harrell to recover. And what a basket. 33% contested layup. Last shot, last shot from the good guys. So far, ain't been looking too too terrible. Are we giving it to the to the young boy? Are we giving it to, to Cam? Nah, this is a play ram for Spencer Dinwiddie, 100%. Watch, Spencer Dinwiddie gonna get the little screen from Clax and it's gonna be a little catch and shoot for Dinwiddie. Look at that, screen from Clax, oh, it's a double. No, give him the ball. I, I thought he was in at the two. We take the midi. For, for the, was that not full bar? Was that not full bar? They gotta, they gotta give you some more though. So down by three, going into halftime. Again, not too, not nothing too crazy. You know what I'm saying? The boys are looking high right for the first game. And Joel Embiid get interview. What has Joel even done to get interview? He, he, he losing this battle with Claxton right now. Second half is underway. Um, I think we need to get more three-point opportunities. I think that was the thing, the point of emphasis from, from Jacques Vaughn. We had too many great shooters on this team for us not to be in that role for us of getting good looks. Um, so I need, I just need to keep my eye on that as the point guard. Like this is, that's it, that's a, that's an opportunity. <laughs> that's an opportunity eventually once we know the jumpers. Bro, this boy Harden be cooking. Bro, no, 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 Harden legit just went nuts. Look at this man, boop, boop, in and out, cross, tweet, he did everything. Nah, nah, we, we need a little payback, Spence. Not right now. I ain't saying we gotta go one for one, blow for blow with one of the greatest of all time. But you need, so, oh, you need a little sum sum. Oh, good screen, roll with me. Roll with me. That's Joel and B. That's not Nicholas Clax. I mean, that's not um Montrez. We'll take the midi. No, we won't, cause we bricked. Dang, bro. I, I didn't realize that it was Joel. That's a bucket if it's Montrez. But Joel obviously way better defender than Montrez ever was or ever could be. We might just why do, why do I not just put Mikael? I'm putting Mikael Bridges on him. I'm putting the Mikael Bridges on him. He's too shifty. He's too shifty. Mikael's an 89 on yeah. Especially if everybody's tall enough to guard Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris is catching and shooting anyway. Yeah, James Harden is cooking. We not here for that. <laughs> we not here for that. That's not Spencer Dinwiddie's role. Oh, we got an ISO cam. That's your role for sure. We just don't have a stick movement to make it happen. Yep. Yep, young boy. Um, <sighs> This is not the best start to the third quarter, but it's cool. We get to stop right here. We back into the swing of things. If not, we'll call a quick timeout and reset. Dang, that's a hard screen from Joel. Toby with the ball. I know what the pass going. No. Oh, he still threw it. He still threw it. That was an open jump shot, but instead Joel Embiid sold. Okay, we back, baby. We back. Run it. Run it, Ben. Run it. Never mind. See, Cam in game is not going to be nearly as effective as Cam in real life, obviously. He's a tough shot taker and maker in real life, and in game, it's hard to do those type of things. Downhill, Spencer, then what do you get the foul? Get to the, get to the free throw line, man. No, he's not throwing lobs. Yo, yo. Um, uh, James Harden is disgusting in the game, bro. I did not think that James Harden was going to be this crazy. He is doing every... Oh, he went under a Steph Curry screen. Are you kidding me? That's Seth Curry. Stop, stop playing. That's Seth Curry. The brother is Stephen Curry. The son of Wardell Sr. Stop playing. But no, this brother Harden is on a whole other level right now. I can't even lie to you. I need to play DFS on him. If it ain't Mikael Brinson again, DFS or Ben Simmons need that assignment because this man is cooking Spencer Dinwiddie on all aspects. But but Nicholas Claxton is doing his thing defensively, just not letting it happen. He about to have a 30 rebound game. He about to have a 30 rebound game, bro. Look, yes, this is the Ben Simmons at five. This is the Ben Simmons at five lineup. Look at the shooters we got on this team with Ben Simmons at the five. I mean, this is almost a perfect lineup for what Ben can do. But but not not if they got team takeover and I'm dribbling the ball with Seth Curry. That's not ideal. But we got that and Seth Curry with the foul. Get Seth Curry off the floor, man. What is he doing? What is he doing? And now Ben Simmons is off the floor, and we're run, we're running with Cam at the five with Joel and B. They went ultra big, and we went small. We we, we got to mess with these rotations. This is a trial and error. The episode two is trial and error with these rotations because right now it ain't looking good at all. The defense. What? No way. George Niang is making that basket. No. In what universe is that in his bag? The heavily contested is crazy. All right, back screen for Seth Curry. That'll be fun, right? Absolutely not. This this lineup has zero creators. And that might be the problem with a lot of these teams, actually. 
a lot of the lineups that we end up running is zero shot creation. Luckily, we got just catch and shoot. We just need to we just need to drive, kick, drive, kick, drive, kick, and just hit our threes. I don't know what what are we shooting from three right now. Forty four percent. There. Oh, I'm sorry. That's free throw percent. It's we shoot at twenty eight percent. That's better than them. That's better than them. 28% is, is crazy. But some of those are like last second of the shot clock because nothing happened and we had to jack it up. So, I mean, I'm sure we're shooting a lot better than that on open looks. Um, but as long as we've been getting them, it feel like we're knocking them down. We've got to generate more of those. Seth Curry, beat back door, door Finney Smith. But a miss from Joel Embiid. And we also got team takeover. That's a lot of three-point shooting on that team takeover. Watch that. Watch that. Seth Curry. Bang. We back in the game. Team takeover. Come say today, bro. Come say today. Come say today. The Seth Curry snatch back three-point shot, baby. We here. We just need to get stops. All five of the players on the court right now have a shooting take for us. All five of them. Oh, man. You better not let nobody open. You better. You bet one more. Dang, he got out there. Seth Curry. Cam's in the game. He only got two points right now, which is not ideal. Oh, he helped off too much, and it was just a little bit too late. Mikhail back in the game, too. Long arms. Long finishes, baby. That's seven points from Kale. I need to get him more involved. Seven points is not enough for a guy like him, considering he's our best s s shooter. What is he? Is he not even that? We got Seth Curry on the roster. I don't know what exactly what Mikael Bridges is best at, but we used Team Take. We scored a few times, and it's back to a four-point game. So Team Take did come in clutch, even though I wanted to. They is making some crazy tough lays, bro. We getting killed in the paint. I didn't realize it was twenty-eight to to sixteen. Um, I didn't realize it was that bad, but boy, this is a double screen for Mikael. Yep, pin down, get around those. Mikael Bridges, run, run it every time if you got to. Run it every time until they adjust, man. Until they adjust, run it every single time. Mikael up to nine points, down by four. Um, two for one opportunity for the 76ers. I doubt they actually use it as a two for one, but they got a two for one op. You know, we, we haven't done a terrible job. Yeah, we lost by one. If we, if we did only shoot 38% from the... Hey, trial and error, y'all. Trial and error when it comes to me on the sticks, all right? Learning jump shots, learning offenses, learning rotations. Stick stick with me, man. If you was around last year, you know, your boy is not great on the sticks. But eventually, we, we found some money plays. We found some some players that we really like in our rotation. So you just got to you gotta bear with me as we try to ISO um, Maxi. And yeah, he ain't got it in his bag yet. He ain't got it in his bag yet. Don't think just because Mikael Bridges is small for a shooting guard that he can't hold. He can't hold his own down here, Montrez. Don't think just because he's small. Yeah, don't. He's tripping. Good defense. And look at our big old point guard with the rebound. Flare screen cam. He didn't hold it long enough, but that one he did. And I missed it. I missed it. Ah, to see those are looks that we make in episode three and not episode two. I'm telling you, that, those are shots we make in episode three and not episode two. And for all y'all that's going to comment, use real player percentage. That's not fun for me. That's not fun for me. I like being able to control the game with, with my fingers um, and not any other way. Claxton wasn't there. The Ben Simmons screen. Cut, Ben. Cut. Roll to the basket. Thank you. Don't be afraid of it, my guy. Get to the basket. On a, on a roll situation, that's not a lot of people that can mess with you if you just keep your mind to the game. That's all you got to do. And we need stops. And now we got Mikael Bridges on James Harden. We should have started off this way. This bad coach for me is Jock Vaughn. And Ben Simmons, you cannot get beat back door. He's supposed to be one of our best defenders on the team. We might have Ben come off the bench low-key as a full-time five. Genuinely. I might have him come off the bench as a full-time five. Because in these lineups, he don't he not really impacting the game. Let's be real. So if I make Ben a full-time five off the bench and start like a cam or a doe, then I think, you know what I'm saying, we don't owe Ben Simmons nothing just because we're paying him a lot of money. He got to work his way into things. And I think for the better fit of the roster, it's better if he's a rim running center more than anything. So I think next episode, we might change his position to a full-time five. So we don't have to worry about Dayron Sharp potentially getting minutes or anything like that. Um, and, and that might be the best way. So we won't get you to minutes at the five and stuff like that. You know, a so couple things we can completely rule out by just putting Ben at the five and letting him run that. We know he can rebound. We know he can guard the interior. It's just like in a lineup like this, he's not that much of a threat. He sets some good screens every once in a while. Like that one, that's that's a beautiful screen. But I feel like Dorian Finney-Smith could do the same thing in the starting lineup. So, uh, you know, things that we got to think through. Only five minutes left in the game. Oh, my God, I thought he was shooting that. Good thing he gave it up to Joel. And Joel is, is having a rough shoot tonight, baby. Claxton got him on lock. That's a charge, ain't it? No blocking foul. Can we make one of the free throws? Ben Simmons. The answer is yes. That's a green. All right, if we can go 50% from the line with Ben all the time, we feel we feel good, but that's a that's 100%. They sleeping on you, Ben. It's back to a one-possession game, baby. Back to a one-possession game. Honestly, the last four or five possessions, 
Ben has been on his thing. You know, he's he been doing his thing. Now, we might be able to close out with Ben if we make him the backup five. Look at James. Look at James, bro. Look at all of it. How are you not tired? How are you not tired? Good defense, Mikael. How is he not tired after all of that? You got all of this on lock. Dio. He's not backing you down. That's a tough shot. He can make it. <laughs> he did make it, but it was a he's shooting 36% from the field as a center, bro. We feel good about the way we've defended Joel B today. But uh yeah, that was uh, that one was a bit rough. Come set the screen. Come set it. Come set it, Clax. There you go. Roll. Roll. Mikael. Get to the basket, Kale. Get to the basket. No foul. Good finish, Mikael. No rebounds, no assists is crazy for you, Mikael, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Good finish, though. We'll take that. We'll take that. Back to a one-possession game. And we need you to keep doing this defense on Harden, preventing him from being a, a, um, a pest. Say go under. Okay, we'll do that. He shot the three. Coach, he shot the three, coach. You told me to go under, coach. All right, it's a five-point game, man. Five-point game. And we run this one again. Yep. And it's going to be successful. Not as successful. See, if Ben can shoot, that's a catch-and-shoot three right there. But instead, he passes up to Mikhail, who misses the standing. Oh, no, he didn't. That's a sale job if I've ever seen one. Mikhail Bridges misses the standing. Now we need to get a stop desperately. Going under. We switching, I guess. Claxton is guarding Maxi, And um, that is Dinwiddie guarding James. Oh, no, oh, um, Joel. Rebound. Dinwiddie. Come on, we run. We run. We got him on our back. We run. Claxton, you got the baby. You got the baby. He too, he too little. It's back to a one possession game, bro. It's back to a one possession. Claxton has been amazing so far. 12 and 12, 12 and 13. That might be a 2020 game once the simulated stats come out. Stop playing with him. No way, no way. Ben don't play that. Run, Mikhail. Run, Mikhail. We see you. We, we see you, Mikhail. Good screen. Three point shot. Mikhail Bridges. That might be bottoms. It was slightly, slightly early. That Oh, it felt good off the fingertips. I could have tied the game with a minute and a half to go. No way. No way we have that type of miscommunication. He missed. Slow it down, bro. Slow it down. Slow it down. We just got bailed by Miss James Harden 3 with a minute and a half to go. The, the Barclays Center's jumping, I think. I'm going to give it up to Clax. I like the clear out call, Mr. Point Guard. I like the clear out call. I think Miles got some good defense, but not. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. We missed two standings in the last two minutes of the game? Wow. Wow, I know he's tired, but man, everybody's tired right now. Joel and B, that's a bucket. He missed it. Ben. Okay, we got the... No. No. No, you didn't. What? No, you didn't. He's, he's injured. I cannot believe that, bro. Oh, my God. He got injured on that play? Oh, my God, bro. No way. He is in a lot of pain. Okay, they help him up. But he is in a lot of pain, bro. And now with Claxton hurt, unknown left ankle injury. Ben has to play the five full time. And then we're going we're gonna to run Cam for the offense, for the catch and shoot ability. Wow. I pray that it's nothing crazy because if it is, we are in trouble for the rest of the year. Hypothetically, if that's like something that's holding him out for a season, we are, for the rest of the season, we're, oh wait, they put Dayron in. I didn't want that. We will be in such a tough situation and I hate it. Dayron is in the game getting his first burn with a minute to go in it. That's just not right. Especially then when he on the double, we give it to him. Get downhill, Spence. And one, no good. But I think his free throw was pretty sweet last time we shot it with him. So, we just need to make both. There we go. Six and nine for him with four rebounds. Pretty good stat line. He's not shooting it great for sure. But, you know, good stat line for my point guard. And just like that, it's to a one-point game. Wow. I, I, again, I can't believe it. I'm praying it's just like a mild sprain. Something that's holding out for a week. Maybe two. Because we not we don't make the playoffs without Nicholas Claxton on his roster, bro. We don't make the playoffs without Nicholas Claxton on his roster. All right, so they inbound it to Maxi, who gives it back up to Toby. There is no James Harden on the court right now. Um, thanks, I guess. Go wonder. We don't need no switch. Thank you, Cam. We don't need no switch. Ben, it's not going to be as good as Claxton, but he still causes a miss. Whoa. Cam, never mind. Never mind. There's no, there's no reason. There's no reason to pop that tray, especially with your jump shot. Especially with your jump shot. They're giving him the ISO, though. I can't do it. I can't give him the ISO. I can't give him the ISO. He hasn't done anything. Cam is fouled. Thank you. What a bail. What a bail. Oh, my God. We might be able to get out of here with a win. I don't know what your free throws look like, Cam. They're sweet. I, whew, I didn't I didn't greet it, bro. I did not greet it. 
Here we go. Next one is up. It is good. 20 seconds to go. Good guys up by one. I should have put DFS in the game. I should have put DFS in the game for the defense. Oh, what is happening? Why is this the possession? He sold. He sold. He he sold it. Get it. Get out of Ben Simmons' hands. I tried to get it out of Ben Simmons' hands. I tried, bro. I tried. No way. Yes. Ben Simmons. Clutch factor. Make this one too. They got no timeout. So regardless, we got to run. He hit it. He didn't. They got no free. They got no timeouts. They got to run. They got no James Harden on the court. Can we get over there to to Melton? Oh my God! He shot the three. I was so look 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 look. I was so trying to just get somebody open to 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 Milton that I left Joel Embiid wide open, trying to switch off. We are down by one with four seconds to go. Are you serious right now, bro? Are you serious right now? Okay. Okay. I have no idea who should even get the. Let's just run it. Let's just run it. Let's just run it. Last possession of the game. Let's just run it. Four seconds to go. Then when he gets the inbounds. Cut to the basket. Ben! Ben! I... I thought, I, I thought that, how much time did he get that ball with? Was there enough time to even get the shot to count? He got it with, yeah, when he caught it, there was 0.8. And when the shot goes up, it's, it's a, if it, if it goes in, he, we win. The ball is out of his hands right now. The ball is out of his hands right now. We lost on that. Brain fart by me, by helping off with Joel Embiid in that shot. And you know what's crazy? We had Joel Embiid clamped up the entire game, but he hit the shot. And that's all you need to do is hit the shot. And it was a rock fight with the simulated stats. Less than 100 points scored on both sides. Joel B ended up with a 20-20 game. Tobias with a 20-point game as well. Um, Bridges with 17 and 10. Um, our Bridges had 18 and zeros across the board. Claxton with almost a 20-20 game. The real question is to simulate one day. Oh my God. This was the worst case scenario. This episode sucked. This episode sucked, bro. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This episode sucked. We, we, yeah. All right. Well, if you enjoyed it, leave it a like. Uh, we're, we're in a hole. I think we have to go sign a center in free agency just because we need somebody to take up minutes. Um, so let's see who's on the market. The one that intrigues me the most is Goga Batazi, just because he's 23 years old. Um, so you know what? We're gonna we're gonna sign Goga to play some backup center, or we I guess we could invest. And, and uh, Dayron Sharp being 21 years old, but he's undersized. I'm going to let Goga do some stuff. I should have signed him to a 10-day low-key. But six to eight weeks. But in 2K, six to eight weeks is not six to eight weeks. So like, hopefully he's back shortly after the break. If you enjoy episode two, leave it a like, man. Unfortunately, the guys didn't get the job done. Um, offense was kind of anemic. We're going we gonna to do better. The next thing I want to do is set my lineup straight with the rotations and also find a playbook that we like. Appreciate y'all.